Check, check, one, two. This, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Sony A7C, my first full frame camera that I own. Actually, mine, I bought it for me. Like I usually buy and sell cameras. But I'm planning on moving finally to full frame simply because, man, all the companies, Sony is just ahead of everybody. Uh, this is the kit lens. So again, the full frame look, it's real. Even with this kit lens at F4, something about the pixel density and everything. It's a beautiful day here in New Orleans. About to go in the lake and the river, Mississippi River building a lot of houses around here and you know how real estate is so it's pretty good so far the a7c looks it's very small for a full frame I don't compare it to the 6600 simply because it's like a it's like a chunky a6600 it's definitely bigger um, you know probably the A6600 stopped working out or started eating a lot to get a little chunkier, a little chubby. But I love the form factor using the row uh, go and using my gimbal, the Feutech G6 Plus. I've been having this for over a year, probably like a year and a half, almost two years. And I love it. It's the smallest and strongest gimbal you can get. It feels like a, it doesn't feel like you have a gimbal. It's more like having a monopod or a gorilla pod. It has a tripod so I can put it on the floor and do whatever. So if I have the gimbal right here, I have a little tripod. If I want to set it down, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't let me down. There it is. It's pretty good. Um, what else? The secret to this uh, A7C having full frame is, over the years I've been collecting full frame glass. Like every time I go to a thrift store, I get beautiful glasses everywhere. Um, and look at this right here. This is out of focus. So, I don't know if you want to focus or not. But my point is about this lens right here, it's, it doesn't even have a brand. It says MC in green, Photomat series. I pay $5 for this lens right here, which it's almost nothing, right? But the thing is, this is a 24 millimeters, 24 millimeters, so it's a wide angle at 2.8, five dollars, like 24 millimeters for full frame are really expensive. Yes, it's a, it's it's manual focus, but a 2.8, I can literally use this lens even for vlogging if I want. I've seen people using manual lenses for vlogging because you can leave, you can you can just remember the distance between you and the camera and just be vlogging. Okay. Uh, focus peak in a, a red, so I know that my face it's red. But how do you like it? I mean, I, does it look like a $5 lens? If I don't tell you what lens it is, I don't know how sharp it is or nothing of like that because I'm not going to be focus peaking, you know, pixel peeping. So far, I like the image. Um, here I am. Vlogging, it's my Sony A7C, nice flippy screen. And what can I say? It's a $5 lens. So, need to get used to it. It's a little bit heavier because it has an adapter. So it is a little bit heavier than my kit lens, which is right here, but Mm -hmm. 
in the Mississippi River with my $5 lens. I'm just bragging guys, I mean come on. If you go out there and if you see, if you see an old camera, an old film vintage camera that has a lens on it and it's less than $30, $40 depending, double check sometimes this camera, this camera's cost a lot of money. Just buy it, buy it. Beautiful weather, I'm glad warm weather is back. It's cold weather, how's it going man? All right, cold weather makes me sad. Cold weather makes me not wanting to go out. And I love, I just love this weather. Um, I'm gonna walk a little bit more here. The sun is straight up on my face, so I hope I am in focus. Ah, oh, beautiful day. Amazing day, it's good to be alive, it's good to be still here. COVID is hopefully going away. We're having good signs of it. And I'm just gonna walk a little bit more. This, uh, you know, beautiful setup. Beautiful day to walk around, to run. I already did my workout of the day. And uh, yes. The river, the Mississippi River, it's uh, high, like this water coming up everywhere because of warm weather. It starts raining more and all the water up north comes down here. This is the deep south, almost in the Gulf of Mexico. If you go back there, straight up, you're gonna go out in the Gulf of Mexico. If you go straight, you go Mexico, if you go left to the east, you go to the Caribbean, Florida, well before that, Mississippi, coast, Alabama, Florida, and Bahamas. If you go turn right from the Caribbean, you get to um, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Jamaica. So we got a lot of cruises sailing out from here, from New Orleans which is nice, so I can take a cruise from here anywhere to Mexico or the Caribbean. Friend, I think that's it, I'm really happy with my choice. Finally, I arrived to my destination of full frame cameras. And hopefully, I can take advantage, take action, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.